Hello my dear students in this lecture we are going to see atomic force microscope Now my dear students let us understand or let us write down some points regarding this atomic force microscope very first point that you have to write in the examination is this atomic force microscope is a high resolution scanning probe type microscope right this is important point it is a high resolution scanning probe type microscope and my dear students what is the meaning of probe probe is nothing but probe is a it is a tool for imaging measuring and manipulating the matter at nano scale right this definition of probe also you have to write probe is nothing but it is a tool for imaging measuring and manipulating the matter at nano scale for the nano particle right now it can image all types of surfaces that means we can say this atomic force microscope can image any type of surface such as it can image polymers it can image ceramics it can image composites glass as well as biological samples so your blood is taken now these are the biological samples now there are many cells in your blood now to magnify them see the image of these cells or any biological samples this atomic force microscope is useful these three points you have to definitely write and you have to draw the diagram let us understand the diagram now here the schematic diagram of this afm that is atomic force microscope you can see there is a laser source from which laser light is coming this is a incident light we can say this is a incident light right and my dear students on this cantilever this is a cantilever cantilever means it can be having upward and downward motion right here on this side it is fixed this side is fixed therefore it is called and this side is free this side is free means this side can move in downward direction as well as upward direction that's why it is called cantilever right now my dear students on this cantilever there is a mirror arrangement here you can say there is a mirror arrangement mirror arrangement on this cantilever right this you can write there will be a mirror arrangement on this cantilever now my dear students this also you have to write here somewhere right so my dear students here what will happen this is a sample this is a nano particle on nano scale this is a sample and here this is a prone tip and my dear students generally the radius of this prone tip tip is very very small let us say the radius of this prone tip that is r is equal to near about 10 m stone right which is very very small right very small radius and this sample is given moment and because of this nano irregularities on the sample this tip will move in upward and downward direction and my dear students as this tip is moving this cantilever will get moment in upward and dire downward direction and because of this this incident angle is on this mirror arrangement because of this there will be from this mirror arrangement there will be a reflected rays this laser source or laser light will get reflected right therefore this is a reflected light this is a reflected laser light and my dear students because of this upward and downward motion this angle of reflection let us say this theta theta is angle of reflection gets changed this reflected laser lights gets collected with the help of array of photo detector with the help of this array of photo detector this reflected laser light gets collected and my dear students this tip moment is analyzed and this tip moment with the help of this tip moment we will get here different types of reflections right this reflections will also vary like this let us see the animation first now here you can see this is a tip and this is a pointer right and this pointer is having very small radius that is 10 amstron and this is a surface having little bit irregularities these irregularities are on nano scale very very small we cannot see these irregularities with our eyes now let us see the animation see this tip is having motion this is a cantilever and this motion of tip as well as cantilever because of this motion of tip and cantilever the reflection angle changes and this reflection angle gets collected right and this collected on the with the help of photo detector right light gets collected with the help of photo detector and this collected lights gets analyzed with the help of computer and 3d image of the sample or the specimen is produced so here as this tip moves in upward and downward direction this cantilever will also having motion because of this this reflected ray will change its direction and this reflected rays gets collected at the this photo detector with the help of this photo detector and with the help of computer the 3d image is produced and again this 3d image is used to analyze the size or to analyze the actual view of this sample now my dear students for this atomic force microscope there are some advantages as well as there are some disadvantages and in examination what you have to write you have to draw the diagram also you have to explain the working and you have to write down these advantages as well as disadvantages let us understand the advantages see first advantage is the resolution of better than 1 amstron under ultra high vacuum condition means the resolution can be 
obtain better than one armstrom for very small size also means we can say for very small size such as one armstrom size also we can get resolution then 3d image of the sample surface is constructed right with the help of this atomic force microscope we can construct the 3d image of the sample surface for the better analysis again it can be used on non conducting surfaces also means this atomic force microscope can be used for both conducting as well as non conducting surfaces generally all microscopes are for the conducting materials but these are used for both conducting as well as non conducting materials again it can be used to drag atoms one by one and deposit them at a particular point on a sample right means the atoms can be dragged from one location to the another location to deposit on the sample also right again there are some disadvantages these two disadvantages also you have to write see scanning speed is low because there is a actual moment of this probe or tip of the probe right so my dear students here the scanning speed is very low because the moment of tip of the probe is very very slow that's why scanning speed is slow or low again if the tip comes in contact with the sample surface it can distort the surface definitely whenever the tip or pointer edge comes in contact there are scratches on the surface there are chances of producing scratches on the surface disadvantage also you have to write whenever tip comes in the contact with the sample surface there are chances of getting scratches on the surface so my dear students here we have seen in previous lectures we have seen scanning electron microscope then we have seen transmission electron microscope and as well as in this lecture we have seen atomic force microscope so my dear students in next lecture we will see difference between scanning electron microscope and atomic force microscope thank you dear students in next lecture we are going to see difference between atomic force microscope and scanning electron microscope